Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I have a very special guest with me. This is Elspeth Victoria Goodwin and she is a friend of mine, right? And Elsie is a soap maker, right? You've made soap before? Yep, And but she's gonna make soap with me today. So what fragrance did we pick out? Do you remember, is it lemon? What's it called, can you say it? Lemon bar? Lemon bar. Lemon bar from Brambleberry. And it was the first one she smelled and you liked it right away, right? Yep, she picked it out really fast. So that is the fragrance. And for the colors today, she picked both of these out. We're gonna use Goldenrod from Be Scented and Purple Galaxy from Wholesale Supplies Plus. Those are gonna be our colors. And is this our soap that we're gonna use? This is my Melt and Pour soap base. This is a hemp version. It's detergent free, low sweat, but it's great. And that's what we're gonna work with today. So what we need to do is, can you show them what mold she picked out? This mold is what we're gonna be making today. They have little bees in there and they're so cute. She picked it out. And then show them, show them the sprinkles we're gonna use. We have some, because I didn't mention that, how old are you now? Five, we just had a birthday. So she chose birthday party sprinkles. Let me put them up here. These are little sugar pearls. We're gonna put those down in the mold and some, don't tip it because it pours, some sparkle silver glitter is gonna go in there too. So we've got all of our equipment out and now what we need to do is get our melt and pour cut and melt it, right? We have to melt it. All right, so we're, let me get the chopping block and we'll be right back. All right. We're gonna cut our melt and pour up into about one inch cubes, and I'm gonna melt it in about 30 second bursts until it's all melted. You don't wanna overheat it, but you definitely want it all melted. So Elsie is in charge of the scale over here, and we're gonna measure out 12 ounces of our melt and pour. So I'll let you start putting those in. And you tell me, do you know what the number 12 looks like? No? All right, well, I'll tell you when we get there. So Elsie, do you live on a farm? What kind of animals do you have? Chickens. Yeah. And cows. Milk a cow. Yeah. Do you have kittens? No, we do have a cat. one cat. One cat. How many chickens do you have? I don't know. You don't know. Do you get the eggs? Is that a chore that you do on your farm? Do you get collect the eggs? Mm -hmm. Do you help your mom do some cooking? What else? Uh, I don't know. How many little brothers and sisters do you have? See, Elsie is not the youngest in her family. She has more. <laughs> She's not the oldest either. Tell me about your brothers and sisters. There's um, Travis. Um, Travis, Marion, Charlotte, and Hugh, and Alan. And Alan. And the little, the littlest ones, are they twins? Yeah. And the youngest twin is Hugh. Is Hugh? The youngest He's... twin oh. of the family. Was Charlotte born first? Okay, that's cool. So you're five now. What does it feel like to be five years old? I don't get to take a nap. You don't have to take a nap? That's cool. <laughs> That's pretty nice. All right. We're going up to 12 ounces. Throw those in. We're getting close. Oh, let's try one more. Throw that in. See, I'm looking for a... Oh, there it is. A one and a two. That's 12 ounces. So we're there. So I don't need to cut any more soap in there. So now we're gonna get this melted and then we'll come back and split it up and do our colors and get our fragrance in there and start pouring and making beautiful soaps, right? Yep. Okay. Okay, so what we've got here is all the melt and pour 12 ounces and I have the fragrance in here. Let me tell you, it smells amazing. Elspeth has an excellent taste. So, um, in the little molds now, we're gonna have put our sprinkles down in there and then we'll pour our melt and pour on top so that when we flip them over, you'll see them. That's kind of how it works. So let's do these first. And here's what I want you to do. It's a little shaker, just shake a little bit in each one of those molds. 
just as much as you like. That looks good. Yeah, do about, about like that much in each one. Do you want a little more in that? It's up to you. They kind of roll all over the place. <laughs> Does that look good to you? Mm -hmm. All right, so now this comes out fast. Be careful when you shake it, but shake a little bit of that in there. It comes out pretty fast. Do you want a little more, or do you like that? Like that. That looks good. All right, so with Melt and Pour, when you put the, I'm sorry, my camera's at an odd angle. When you put the um, sprinkles down in the bottom, they will actually be on top. So that's what we're doing, because with cold process, when you put the sprinkles on after you make it, it'll stick with melt and pour. When you unmold it, it's not gonna stick because it's already firmed up. So that's why it's going in there. All right, we got it? So those look beautiful. Oh, these are gonna be so pretty. Let me set those off to the side and now it's time to color our soap. So I'm gonna split this off into two, just kind of eyeball it. Does that look about even? What do you think? All right. And now let's do one yellow and one purple. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to take a scoop like that and plop it in there. That looks good. And let's stir it and see if we like that color. We might need to add a little more. Let's see, do you want it, do you think that looks good? A little more. A little more? All right, that's great. Now tap that off really good. Thank you, because we're going to use it over in the purple, too. All right, now let's do our purple. I'll show you the yellow here, which is so beautiful. Look at that. It's very sunny, sunny yellow, or lemony yellow, I guess, because we're doing lemon, lemony yellow. All right, same with the purple. Scoop it and tap it. You want to do a little more? She likes her colors vibrant. I can appreciate that. All right, perfect. And let's use this one in the purple. So I'm gonna stir it a little bit here to get started. I want you to stir that yellow, yellow really good. Ye the yellow matches my dress. It sure does. <laughs> it's beautiful. Look at that purple galaxy. Isn't that gorgeous? You got some good colors. Yep, thank you for showing them. This is great. Okay, now, you like it? Mm -hmm. And look how it kind of swirls, the micas, they make like a little galaxy swirl in there. Now the fun part. Here we go, let's pull the sticks out. And let me set this off to the side, and guess what we get to do now? Is it time? So here, if we pour together, you and me, do you want it swirled or do you want it layered? Swirled. Swirled. So we want to pour very gently so we don't knock those little pretties out of the way. Oh, look at those colors. Let's go to the next one here. Wow. You're going to be able to use these in your bathtub tonight if you want, right? Mm -hmm. Are you going to share with your brothers and sisters? Mm -hmm. Oh, you hear that? That's my puppy at the door. Sometimes he barks when I'm filming too. It's very inconvenient. Can you reach all the way back here? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, but we have to wait for these to harden up and then we can unmold them and come back and see what we've got. Does that sound good? All right, so I'm gonna pop these in the refrigerator for you know about five or 10 minutes and then we'll be back. What's your cow's name? Flossie and Phoebe, because she has a cow. Oh, is it a girl calf? All right. Are We're going to keep her. Are you going to keep her and milk her too? All right. How much milk do you get? I don't know. Lots? All right. Got a big milking pail. What's your favorite thing to eat? Uh, donuts. Donuts? <laughs> mm -hmm. For my birthday, I had donuts with chocolate on them. Yum. Chocolate icing on them. You have good taste. That sounds like a good donut to me. I should have brought I like some. to help you. You like to help me. Thank you. I like good help. So Ellen Ruth soap here. I like to have helpers because it makes fun and it cheers up my day, right? What else is good about doing it together? 
Um, I, it's just really fun. It's just really fun. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So when you get older, do you want to make other kinds of soap? What kind of soap do you really want to make? Mm. Like cold process? Mm -hmm. you... All kinds of soaps. Yeah. I was thinking about buying a soap from you. Buying a soap from me? Yeah, but when you get older, you can make your own. What colors would you choose if you made a different soap? I don't know. Yeah. What if you made a soap for your brothers? What would be a boy color soap? Blue. Blue, and what else, maybe? Travis liked green, and Alan liked blue. Oh, those are good, green and blue. Now, would they like glitter on their soap? No. So what does your dad do? He blacksmiths. He blacksmiths, yeah. So what, does that, what does that look like? Does he take metal and put it in hot fire? And what does he do then? He bangs on it. Bangs on it with like a hammer? It's pretty cool. Which by the way, Elsie's mom and dad have a YouTube channel and I will link that in the description box below, Axe and Anvil, and uh, they make some amazing metal work. So go check it out. Right? Should they go check it out? Yeah, and then you can see Elsie's farm too. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> there you go. When you get sick of soaping, go and swing. Get some fresh air. Clear your mind. <laughs> What, it's been about 20 minutes maybe, about 15, 20 minutes. We had a swinging break, chilled them out in the refrigerator and the freezer and we're ready to unmold. Okay, so stretch all of them. Like, there you go. Good job. These look pretty cool. And the reason they're kind of wrinkly, let me hold it up here. A little bit wrinkly on top is because I moved the molds when they were already had a skin on them. I moved them to a tray. So that's why they have that little wrinkle on there. All right, keep going. Oh, hold it way up towards the camera, right there. Aren't those beautiful? Oh, these are so pretty. All right, let's keep on molding and then let's, we'll show you some wrapping ideas how to wrap these up and make pretty gifts with them. There you go. Wow, those are fantastical. Do they smell good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've got one, two, three, four. Four. And one more will be how old you are, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Good job. Here, I'm going to move these up a little so the camera can see them. There we go. With these and little party sprinkles on that bee. It is. The bee has party sprinkles in it. These are so fun. And, and that one. And you and picked out one, everything. One, well, let's keep on molding. One. So what do these smell like to you? Lemon. Yep, they do. Mm -hmm. That Brambleberry Lemon Bar is one of my favorites, so <laughs> Elspeth has excellent taste. <laughs> right? Yep. I was wanting to get a big, a do a big soap. A big soap, cold process soap. We'll do that when you get a little older and you have another birthday. Maybe we'll do cold process. Boy, these are really fancy. I love the colors you picked out. You know, let's hold that up. Those are pretty magical, aren't they? You're going to have fun. Are you going to use one tonight in your bathtub? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's look at a couple of wrapping ideas. One simple idea to wrap is just a mason jar, right? Here, stack them in there and let's see how it looks. We can try a couple different ways. They fit in there really cute. How many can we fit? One more? I don't know. Yep, so that would be one way. You could give them away as a little gift like that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so here's another way. You wanna pull them out of there? I have these, these are just little glassine, like old fashioned sandwich bags. 
you know, like a kind of wax paper-ish. Those would be another way to wrap them. Okay, let's see. We put a couple in here. Slide it in there. Let's do three. And so I can put three in there. And wrap them up and then do a little twine and tie a bow. That's another way you could send these off and make a little stocking stuffer. That's kind of cute, isn't it? Put a tag on there. And then I just have some little clear cellophane bags too. So you can wrap these up in cute ways and give them as gifts. Do you want to try one of those? Okay. All right. I'm gonna pull just one. They stick together. All right. Oh, there we go. We got two. two. <laughs> There, that's the tag. There's the opening. You want to slide one in? I don't know if they're going to fit. They might be too big around. Let's see. Oh, they do fit. Push it down. And let's put one more in there. There we go. And then it's got a little um, peel and seal top. And you could put a label on there if you liked. Those look great. Do you like it in there? Should I seal it up for you? All right, so it's got a little sticker. And I've got a fold. I'm going to take this back. Yep, oh yes you are. There we go. Looks good, huh? Oh, come on back here. <laughs> All right, there, let me come on this side of you. Did you have fun today? Do you want to come back and make soap another time? Yeah? Can you say goodbye? Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.